Welcome back everybody, Brobrent here. Today we are bringing Season 2 of The Forest to a grinding halt. So today we're going to be covering everything that I have managed to achieve in 285 days in this save. Now that number is super annoying because it's just about 50 days short of a year. So I have so many good memories of this world and just looking back at everything that we have done is it's a shame to say that we're no longer going to be using it. So the first thing that we are going to take a look at in this save is the treehouse base. Now yes this is going down memory lane, this was a long time ago. So this treehouse base is just composed of platforms just built around the big tree. Honestly it was such an achievement to get that built and it just worked so perfectly. Looking back at it now, I really wish that I spent some more time with it and just developed it further, but I think I just got bored of the project and wanted to move on to something new. So there's one thing that I've got to clear up with this save, and that is the boat just over here. Now, yes, I was really working towards getting that done, like, within the next two episodes. I actually recorded them, but I stopped doing them. But I never got around to using the boat full of logs. Now, I will do the exact same project next season, season three, so you can look forward to that. It's been a bit of an ongoing joke on the channel, but I thought I would address that real quick. But this base is honestly a beauty. Just looking at it from any direction, it just fits in with the environment and works perfectly. So right here, we're going to pan straight over to the cave base. This thing is an odd one. I really didn't know what I was going for at the beginning here. I wanted just like a hidden secret base that was built in underground. But then I started to expand outwards, and I think that's where it got a little bit messed up. But you can see at the entrance here, we've got this nice bridge going across. We've also got the entrance here. It's like some sort of patio or decking. I'm not really sure what to call this. It's some sort of house, I guess. But moving in, we've got the first tunnel entrance supported with beams, like a mine shaft, I guess. It looks really, really cool. The whole place is lit up with probably 30, 40 lights just spread around this entire cave. Now, unfortunately, this did make my computer struggle just a little bit. It was very laggy in this area, and I'm not really sure why. Now, in this entire world, this was probably one of my favourite projects. I really liked doing this because it was something new, it was something fresh, and it's something that I would like to revisit in the future. So perhaps in Season 3, we can make a big brother of this base. We can make something bigger in a more open location and light it up better. I think that would be something really cool. But this project actually never got finished. There was quite a lot of empty space. You know, down here we made use of for the rabbits. We made a big rabbit farm out of it. But I feel like this could have just been a little bit more. We could have juiced it up a little bit. Also, I remember having quite a few laughs out of this because after a few updates, they kept changing this cave. This cave had so many tweaks and it just kept ruining and ruining and slowly degrading the base. It was absolutely hilarious. So now we're going to transition over to the newest project in this world, and that is the compound base. This thing it was a huge, huge project and it is nowhere near finished. For example, this wall at the beginning, I think actually in one episode, I managed to gather 1,000 logs to build this entire wall. I think it took me about three hours of solid non-stop farming and it honestly crushed me. If you're ever thinking about doing something like this in one big sitting, don't. Rethink it, it will ruin the game for you. That said though, after we got an outstanding looking wall. Didn't get to finish it unfortunately because this was the latest project, you know. We got about 10% of the way through building the rocks behind the wall to make it look reinforced. And once the gate was done and everything, we were going to move in and start revamping the lake area, but we never got round to it. Unfortunately, we're just never going to get a chance to either, because I'm not going to rebuild anything like this again. So moving over to the ghost town of this world, the village base. This was such a cool project that we had in mind. We started just doing hut by hut, colonizing and revamping the area. But then we started to think a little bit bigger. We built this massive wall going all the way around, and we tried to take it for ourselves. Now this clearly did not work. We had a lot of issues with this. We had cannibals spawning inside. Then we tried to fix that by building loads of traps and that caused a load of lag. Then I also never got around to actually using the rest of the huts. They're all just dormant and waiting there. There's two huts that I did use though for food and that was it. So this was a huge waste. I feel like we could have done so much more with this. This video is turning into me just bashing myself of how little work I actually do. But that is not the case. This wall is three layers high and probably cost around 2,000 stones in total to build. It is a long, long project. Unfortunately, there's not really much else to cover in this area. It's just too much of a ghost town. So we're going to transition over to the elevator. I had so much fun building this elevator. I don't really know why. It was dangerous and I nearly died about seven times. But I'm really surprised that even today it still works. 
The idea was to get to the top and build a base, but once we actually got there to the top, we didn't really feel like doing it. Instead, I just built a few platforms up there, built a beacon and then a diving board. That diving board is so much fun, but it is so scary. Honestly, I'm still quite surprised that this thing works and is still standing. All it would have taken is two armsies, one armsie, to come to the base and knock two walls down. It's so fragile, yet it's still standing. Unbelievable. Now let's take a moment just to appreciate this next build, the sinkhole base. It is the heart of this world, quite literally. It is probably the most successful build I have ever made in the forest. It took a lot of work, a lot of planning, but we got there in the end. To be honest, I'm not really sure why I decided to build this. I can't remember why I built something hanging over the sinkhole, but the concept alone is mind-blowing. This has been the center of all my videos since probably like episode 50, and I'm really disappointed that we didn't get to do some extra stuff with it. I wanted to build some sort of garden on the left-hand side. I wanted to get the rabbit farm even more juicy and ready to harvest all of those rabbits, but we were just taking too much time. So unfortunately, that does bring this entire season to a stop. I want to take a moment to thank everyone here for viewing and experiencing this with me. It has been one hell of a journey with 88 individual episodes, averaging about 10 minutes, so you work that out, it's a long time. So I want to say thank you for watching and viewing this season with me, and I can't wait to see you over in season 3. So most of you may be thinking, what is going to happen with this save now that I'm no longer using it? Well, I've made this available to download on my Patreon page to all of my patrons, no matter how much you're pledging. So if you want to download this world for yourself, go to patreon.com slash broadbent. The link is also in the description. So if you've not already joined my Discord server, I would highly, highly suggest it. You can get constant updates from me and talk to other fans of the channel. To join, all you have to do is go to discord.gg slash broadbent. The link is also in the description if you want to go ahead and click that. Make sure you click the link, come over and chat, I'm always on it, I check this daily actually, so if you want to come and chat and talk to me, this is the best place to do it. I also post really important updates on the channel there, for example, why I've been so inactive lately. If you want to find out all that information, make sure to join the Discord server. Alright everyone, thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you in Season 3.